Well, I finally managed to get caught up a bit. First time for about three years, tidied up after doing my arm, of course, it's held me up a long way. So, uh, I haven't done the whole lot, but we've had a bit of a tidy up, and the first time for about three years, I pressure washed my path. You know, it's near enough. However, as usual, we seem to do one job and make two more. So, I couldn't find the I had a, one of those screw on attachment things for my taps, I haven't got an outdoor tap. Anyway, what I did <laughs> in the bathroom, I had enough little fitments as you know. So in the bathroom, when I did my shower, which I think I've showed you, just there, let me just move this curtain, if I can, there we are, right. Yeah, you can see that. Now I'm using my new Rado. It's a, it was brand new this one, and it's set exactly as any other. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, just there, look. And I don't know if you can. See, it's right tucked around the back. Uh, I just took that nut off and had a fitment to put a hose pipe on it. Leaked a bit, and that's why the jug was there. Anyway, that didn't matter. But a few days later, I noticed a damp patch in the carpet, and. But moving that, it comes slightly loose. Well, you can move it out slightly moving the tap. Anyway, yesterday I did that job. <laughs> it still leaks out there, but it's just a washer, isn't it? You know, a tap washer or something like that will do that. So that's a simple job, I can do that. And it only drips in that jug, so I'm not worried about that. So I can have a shower again and it works. And these need, uh, well, they need taking out and scrubbing. I should have done it with a washer, I suppose. Anyway. I thought I'd just show you what I've been up to and why it, why is it that uh, you do one job and seem to make two more, don't you? Anyway, the other thing I've been doing this week, I've been collecting and making stuff for me bits and pieces. And I've got enough to make two. So I did that yesterday, which I think is, uh, it's come all right, I think. I think you'll agree. So I've got enough to do another one. So we'll have a go at that, see how we go on. So I'll just show you what we're going to do and then more or less show you at the end, you've seen me making it. But that's come quite good and uh, it, I'll just go up to there, won't go any closer, but a bit of that checker plate polished up and done so has made it quite nice. And I did it red uh, and this time the they're straight up on the hours. All the all these, that's the hour in the middle of each one. And I marked it out on me on the other clock. So there we are. Right, I'll show you the other one when I get it done and see what you think. Well I found another largish clutch plate because one of the comments I got um, when they looked at me first clock I did like this, I said, oh I expected it to be bigger. Well, it was on one that size, you see, and you can tell from the hands because the hands actually went up to about there, didn't they? Whereas on this one they come to the edge. So, to give an impression of it looking bigger. Anyway, through cutting my spanners I've got lots of small, they were ring spanners, you see, open-ended rings. So I've got enough of these ends now to do make them of these. So instead of having square ones, there will be something like that if you can see. Something like that. So we'll see how it goes anyway. As I say, you've seen me making them. And so I'll get the I'll get those cleaned up and cut off and uh, see how we go well just one more thing of slight interest I think I made this little jig very simply look so I can put all the spanners in to cut them off I can get them square that's square there and just cut them off with the grinder like that you see and I get them all the same length because uh, they look better and to get them on the hours I've marked this what I did I just tape that onto the thing and then I can just you know I just put the mole grips on there and weld them on and that way 
they're all in line because that first one I did trying to get all the ends in the right place was well, it was too time consuming, too complicated and it, it, although it looked good at the end um, you've seen the other clock, I'm sure it looks alright and of course one of the other <laughs> Will's problems these cheap angle grinders the switch, you couldn't switch it on, it was bloody impossible not strong enough and uh, after a time or two it got hot, it wouldn't switch anyway so I've glued it in position and I've done that which is just a little extension you see with the switch on it so I can plug it in switch it on and off there so if you've got an angle grinder that doesn't work these cheap ones because the switches go that's the answer right <laughs> tip for the day <laughs> we'll get on well we're getting a bit done but a uh, long way to go yet as you can see anyway just showing you the quick bit as it's done this is again going to be a hanging one I think you can see from that it's going to look alright actually from far enough back 